Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyEyeMarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a cart abandonment email series within your ClickFunnels 2.0 account. So basically, if somebody comes to your funnel, fills out their contact information on your sales funnel, but then doesn't buy the product, you can go ahead and send them emails, bringing them back to the funnel and try and get them to convert. So we're gonna go ahead and set that up. So I'm gonna assume that you already have a funnel so I'm gonna click into this sales funnel and I'm gonna go ahead and open my order form page or the page that has the order form on it. And what you wanna do is make sure that your checkout form has steps on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit it and we can see the checkout steps option here. And you wanna make sure that you have a two-step or a three-step checkout form. So I'm just gonna do a two-step one right here. And then we can go ahead and come out of here and we'll go ahead and click on save. And then I'm gonna go ahead and back out of here. So that's step one. You need to make sure you have a multiple step checkout form. And then we'll come back out of here and we're gonna go ahead and create an automation. So we'll come to marketing here and we'll be in the workflow section and we're gonna go ahead and add a new workflow. And I'm gonna call this cart abandonment main product. And then for run type, I'm gonna go ahead and select only one run per contact because I don't want people to accidentally go through this multiple times and get multiple cart abandonment emails. And so I want this workflow to only run one time per person. So we're gonna go ahead and create a workflow. And then we need to go ahead and set our trigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and click right here, add a trigger. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Event type, we're gonna be looking for an opt-in. So opt-in. Funnel, we'll go ahead and select our funnel. So I have my full sales funnel right here that I'm gonna be using sales funnel and then the page I'm gonna select my main product page here so again this is the page that has the two or three step order form on it so I'm gonna go ahead and select that one and then it asks if we want to allow anonymous contacts and I'm just gonna leave that on but obviously we can't send an email to somebody if we don't capture their email address so anonymous contacts won't actually go through this workflow so it probably doesn't really matter if you leave this on or off but I'm just gonna leave it at the default settings because I know it works so we'll go ahead and click on create trigger and then I can go ahead and close out of this and now you probably wanna go ahead and set up a delay. So that way you give somebody time to actually go through the process of filling out the two or three step order form and actually buying the product. So you might wanna give a 15 or 30 minute delay, or depending on how you wanna approach it, you may wanna give people an hour or two, or maybe even 24 hours before you follow up with them on a cart abandonment email. Anyway, for my example, I'm gonna set a very short delay. So that way I can record this video right now and not wait 24 hours, but I'm still gonna add a delay. So we'll do a delay and I'm gonna go ahead and just wait three minutes before sending this email out. So I'll go ahead and create, and then I need to go ahead and add my email. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus button here and send an email. I'm gonna use one of my templates that I already have and click on it. And then I can go ahead and fill out the contact information. Hey, you forgot to finish checking out. We are almost out of stock. And then my from address right here, and we'll go ahead and create. And now I need to edit my email, so I'll click on this little warning icon here. Hello, contact first name. It looks like you were a about to purchase the main product but didn't go through with the order no problem we still have a few left in stock and you can finish checking out here click here to finish checking out and then you want to go ahead and link to your sales funnel so we'll go ahead and highlight the text i made it bold and i want to go ahead and add a link here and so i'll link to my funnel and click on OK. And then I have my signature block right down here. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually delete out this button because I don't want to use it. So I'll delete it. And then I'll go ahead and publish. And of course you can design the email however you want, but that's good enough for my example here. So we'll come back out of here. Alrighty, so we have our first email in place. You could go ahead and add additional delays in email. So maybe you wait another 24 hours and if they don't buy the product in that amount of time, you send them another card abandonment email, except this time you include a special offer. Maybe they get a discount or a bonus product or something like that. So it just depends on how you wanna approach it and if you wanna offer incentives for people abandoning the checkout process. But for my example, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at just the one card abandonment email. But what we wanna go ahead and do is add another action here and we wanna add a conditional goal. And so what this will do is if somebody matches this conditional goal step filter, then they'll automatically jump down the workflow to this particular goal, skipping over any emails or delays that are in the middle of it. So in this case, when somebody purchases the main product, they'll have reached our goal of our card abandonment workflow. 
So we're gonna go ahead and filter and we're going to see purchase product right here is, and we're gonna select main product here. And you can see that there's other options too, like and or or statements. So if you want a more sophisticated filter for your goals, you could go ahead and include that. But for this particular workflow, this fits perfectly. So I'll go ahead and create a step. And then you need to go ahead and activate the steps. So we're gonna come up here and turn the status on and we'll go ahead and enable. And so here's my workflow. It's going to trigger when somebody enters their contact information on step one of my order form. Then we're gonna go ahead and wait three minutes for them to go ahead and buy the product. And if they don't buy the product within those three minutes, we're gonna go ahead and send them an email, reminding them that they were about to buy something, but for whatever reason they didn't, and bringing them back to the order form. However, if within this three minute timeline, they buy the product, so they go to step two and they enter their credit card information and they check out, but then they'll jump down to the goal step right here and they won't ever receive the card abandonment email. Now in my particular example, three minutes is a very short time delay for someone to enter their billing information and check out. So that's why I recommend 15 minutes at a minimum, but maybe an hour or two would be better upwards of one day. And again, you can have multiple follow-up card abandonment emails if you want to, and you could offer special promotions your follow-up emails as well but for the sake of our example we're good to go with this automation so let's go ahead and back out of here and i'm going to go to my funnel and i'll just click into it real quick and i'm going to grab this link right here and then i'm going to open a new incognito window so i can go ahead and test this out so i'll paste my link in here and so now i'll enter my contact information so let me fill it out real, real quick and now when i hit next right here that's going to add my contact information to my click funnels account and that's also going to be what starts the workflow so i'll click next right here and so in about three minutes, I should receive my first card abandonment email unless I go through and I check out and pay for the product because then I'll have reached that goal. But again, I'm testing my card abandonment. So I'm going to go ahead and just close this page completely and we'll see if I receive an email in the next three minutes. And so it's been a couple minutes, but you can see right here, I received the email. And so I could go ahead and click this link and return to the funnel and finish checking out. Now, the cool part is if your customer is using the same device and browser as they were the first time when they were checking out, well, then it will save their information for them. And so all their contact information will already be saved on step one. And so they'd only have to go to step two and enter their billing information in order to check out. So it'll save them a lot of time. Now, since I checked out an incognito window and I cleared all my cookies and everything, if I go to this link, I'll have to fill out my contact information again but at least it brings me back to the funnel and that is pretty much it for setting up a card abandonment workflow hopefully you found this video helpful if you did i appreciate any sorts of likes comments subscribes and or check out crazymarketing.com and i hope you have a great rest of the day